We are exploring. Today we are in Guy, Arkansas, where I am going to show you the graves of Desiree Ann Dingman and Brandon Lynn Clendenin at the Copperas Springs Cemetery. Wow, look, they spelled cemetery incorrectly. Can you figure out the mistake? This here is a long Arkansas State Highway 25, several miles northeast of Greenbrier, Arkansas. There's somebody driving fast. There's a few hundred graves in this cemetery. I don't know the exact number, but this road can be pretty busy. I like that there's a few tall trees here at the Copperas Cemetery in Guy, Arkansas. Here's the first grave I want to show you. It's the grave of Desiree Ann Dingman and she was an avid softball player. This is why her grave marker is shaped round in the shape of a softball. Desiree, you'll always live in our heart, mind and soul. Love you, mommy and daddy. It reads on the backside of her marker. Desiree Ann was killed in a go-kart accident. She was riding her go-kart on a hilly road next to her home where the hill restricts your view and a car came in the other direction. She did not see them. They did not see her and the car landed right on top of her and killed her. Be very careful driving on these country roads and slow down if you can't see what's behind the hill. Here she is in her softball outfit and I've heard that she was buried in her softball uniform. Here is the gravestone from the front and the area in the background. If you want to visit her that makes it easier to find. Next up are a couple of colorful gravestones, the backside of which shows farms. Here the Fortner family stone and I've heard these farms look exactly like they are depicted on the gravestones. The one on the left is the stone of the Thorn family and also this farm is lifelike and I like that this is made in color and somebody's putting flowers there. That is very nice and this cemetery is, is pretty well kept. This is also what I like and I already mentioned the tall trees over there. Here we see a few more markers with images etched into the surface and here is the Clendenin family and up comes the other marker I wanted to point out to you. Brandon Lynn Clendenin. He was 21 when he died of cancer and look at that photo on his stone. This is the photo they took it from. A very cool and impressive photo. When will we realize that anything is possible. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And rest in peace Desiree Ann Dingman and Brandon Lynn Clendenin.